Anachat Tefillin had a person put on his phylacteries at the wall. So we woke up really, I got wait a minute, an hour and a half of sleep last night. We are on. Um, so now we have two cameras. Two cameras going on. Yeah. So, um, so let, can I just sure, say uh, shoot for it. hello to everybody watching on Israel One Nation. Finally, you got online. I don't know what, what happened before. I am on with a good friend, Ari Foltz, and he is having his own camera over here. Uh, Ari is here because I invited him. Uh, so now I'm taking over. Go for it. <laughs> share. Everyone share it out. A really yeah, important please, message. Everyone please, share it out right now. Come on. Please share this because we are in a time where people following Israel One Nation and I fall. We need you to step up. We need you to act and not just pray. But right now we have a big drill. The biggest drill going on in Israel for 20 years. Biggest IDF drill. The biggest IDF drill up north uh, with many different units. Um, Preparing for the next battle for Hezbollah. Hezbollah which, we hope, which hope doesn't happen. Which yeah, we hope like, doesn't happen. It, it looks like it's coming. Uh, if we watch what's going on in Lebanon and Syria and all of these things, the IDF at least they are preparing. So these are men and women in the IDF who is literally every day putting their lives on the line for Ali and his family, for me, for everybody here in Israel, for us to live in safety. Uh, they're, they're, they're literally putting their butts on the line every day. They're doing such a good job. And at the same time, we have so much hate uh, coming against Israel, against the IDF. We have so many lies. You know, they're a horrible army and they beat Palestinian children. And, you know, there are so many lies and, and bad things coming against the IDF. Right. When they are, in fact, the most small army in the world. I mean, what they are doing, treating their enemies, how they are helping them, it's just something you don't see anywhere right. else. Right. Right. So me, as a Danish person living here in Israel, seeing all the lies that's coming against the IDF, uh, it's just it's a matter in my heart that these are some of the people that we actually really need to help. These are some of the people that you need to step up and bless. And that is why I invited Ari, because now is your chance to do something. And you know, I love that we pray for Israel. I love that you share uh, the things that I'm doing here in Israel One Nation and you share the things that I is doing. But once in a while, there's just a point where you have to put action behind your prayers. You have to put action behind your likes and your comments because we are actually in a situation where there is a lot of poverty here in Israel also. Right. And also amongst the families of some of these IDF soldiers. All right, so Stephanie, first of all, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Listen, here's my problem. I am a horrific fundraiser, okay? I, I can't stand it. And when I started working with standing together three years ago already, so I did it because they came to my unit when we got out of Lebanon and really saved our skin. Yeah. And the, the, the support and the love that we felt from around the world, it really saved us. It saved us physically. It saved us emotionally. We were very, very badly hurt in the Lebanon War, and we yeah. got back. And, and also, also, we got back, and we, we found that many people were... Really, we love you, you know, including non Jews, Jews and non Jews together, yeah. it really saved our skin. So I'm working with Standing Together for three years, and I, and I think anybody who watches me knows that I barely, barely, barely sleep. I think everybody knows that. I barely sleep for, for many different reasons. It's a little bit of PTSD, but that's, another, that's for another time. But I barely sleep because I, I have worry. Like, like my, my project for the IDF is not just my job, it's my life. And, and yeah. I, I don't sleep when I don't have the funds to cover what I need to cover. And, and this campaign that we're doing right now is really. It's 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 really hits home, and you know I, I can never get people people watch and like and share. And please do like and share, yeah. you know. And then to, I can't, I'm not getting angry at them, God forbid. But for me, like someone, I live here, I serve in the army, you know, and I and I I, I donated to the campaign. I, I put up put a package in, and there, and I'm explaining what the campaign is in one second, yes. and, and I'm begging everyone. I beg you because not for again not for me. I'm begging you for, for the for the soldiers who are helping. If everybody watches this, watching this, just donates one package. One, pa it's one package, the link is right upstairs in the description. I'll put it up here in a second. Yeah. So let me explain so, to you the, yeah. Please, no, 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 I'm just gonna say that uh, we have the high holidays coming up here in Israel. Uh, Jewish, the Jewish New Year is coming up, which of course is festive, it's a big thing. Right. And uh, a lot of the soldiers are getting home on leave, right? Yes. They are getting home from the bases, wherever they're stationed around the world. But the situation is that a lot of these soldiers don't want to go home. And this is, I, st I actually cried the other day when I saw Ari uh, speak about this because I'm like, this cannot be true. We cannot live in the year 2017 
and some soldiers are choosing not to go home to be with their families because of poverty. Well, if I want, that, so let me, I, just want to, I don't call it poverty, no, okay? No. But I'm saying what I'm saying is, we, I, like the army, we, I've spoken to soldiers over the years, and they yeah. say, look, we're not going home to the holidays because my family is in financial problems, yeah. and we don't want to be a financial burden. Exactly. So if I stay in the army for the holidays, they'll pay for my food and my yeah. board. And I heard this, and I was like, this can't happen. Yeah. Like, again, it's not the army's fault. It's not, it's, no, 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 no. There's situations where yeah. families are not doing well financially, yeah. and their kids are in the IDF, like you said, putting their butts on the line, literally putting yeah. their, their, their lives on the line to protect Israel. They decide to stay home for the holidays in order not to be a financial burden on their family. We heard about this, and we said, it can't happen. It cannot, that cannot be. So now, share on this camera, share on this camera, because this is a time where we need you to step up, we need you to act. Ari uh, started a campaign to support some of these families. Right, so what happened was the yeah. army called us and said, look, um, standing together we know for over 20 years, we want you to help us uh, yeah. with this campaign to make sure that soldiers who, are, who can go, get, have a leave can go home and celebrate their families. Um, so, hey Stephen, how are you? So, what we did is the following. We, we spoke to many different organizations, we spoke to many different supermarkets and whatnot, yeah. and what we're doing is we are purchasing uh, cards, which are like credit cards, because as much as we want to help the soldiers, we also don't want to embarrass the families. Exactly. Uh, and, yeah. and again, nobody likes, to, nobody likes to beg, so I'll beg for them, okay? But nobody likes to beg. So what we're doing is, we're not just delivering goods and foods to them, we're not just, you know, saying here's a package, here's a present, people. No, we're actually giving them, we're giving them honor. Yes. And so what we're doing is, we were asked, we're given a number of a thousand families, okay, and, and it's a thousand IDF families um, who really don't have the money to buy the food and goods they need for Rosh Hashanah for the, for the holiday. And so we are basically trying to sponsor a thousand of these cards. Each card is $70. That's it. It's $70, $70. for the whole holiday. That's all it is. We, we know that if we asked for more, that people wouldn't donate. So $70 is what we need to cover Thank this. you for sharing my video. Please keep sharing. Nikki, thank you. Yeah. Um, so $70 per, per card. Now, I said a thousand, that's $70,000. Like, how am I going to raise $70,000? And, and, and Rosh Hashanah is less than three weeks away. Yeah. But then I said to myself, look. Well, I said to myself first last week, I said, look, people watch my videos, there, there are over 3,000 views on it. I mean, for God's sake, if everybody who watched it would donate one package, we wouldn't get to 1,000 soldiers, we'd get to 3,000 soldiers. Yes. And so when you invited me over, you know, I, I, I wouldn't ask you, when you invited me over, I, I was like, yes, this is great, because now we can put two of our powers together, and we really have thousands. I mean, the goal is 1,000, but with, with, our, with everyone watching both these screens, again, if everybody would hit the link and donate just one package, yeah. We could cover thousands and thousands of soldiers and understand something. They're going to go home, okay? And also on the site, you can also write a message to the soldiers so we can put it on, you know, send it with it. But you know, they're going to go home and they're going to be able to enjoy the holiday with their families. They, again, right now, it's not even, their, they're not even thinking, they're thinking about staying on base. Yeah. And we cannot ha have it happen. So I'm asking everyone, I'll beg, I'll be I'm begging everyone. I really, it's, it's to me, I don't sleep because of this because I can't imagine that soldiers can't celebrate with their family. They're, they're protecting Israel, for God's sake. Yeah. So I'm, I'm asking everyone who's watching this. Everybody who's watching this, hit the link. And if you could only do, only do one, then do one. If everyone would do one, we'd be set. If you could do more, you could do more. I want to say, because Christina, she's my good friend from Denmark over here, she's asking, where's the link? Christina, uh, when we finish, Ari will put up the link here on Israel One Nation so you can go and donate $70. I know for some people that's a lot of money. And if you can't do that, don't what? donate whatever, whatever you can, you can. Whatever, you, whatever can. you can, but for one family, for a whole, uh, whole holiday, $70, a lot of people can do that. And I know sometimes we think, uh, you know, $10 is nothing, $30 is nothing, and then, and then you don't do anything. But if everybody doing a little bit, that amount to a lot, and, and I got to say, I know the Bible is saying, God will bless those that bless Israel, He will curse those that curse Israel. And there's just something about stepping up. There's something about getting active. There's something about not just, you know, being your prayer closet. That's good. We need your prayers too. But sometimes you need to do more than that. And like I said, this is a hard matter for me because I see the soldiers out on the street. They are making life for me safe here in Israel every single day. But like I said before, they are, they are meeting so much hate right, and right. lies and propaganda, you know, when in fact they are the most moral army in the world. So that's the macro, right? So many lies. We're bringing it down to the basic level, yeah. family level. That's all yeah. it is. It's, it's really... And, and also, like, listen guys, when you come here to Israel as a tourist or whatever you are, when, but when you come here to Israel, these soldiers are making you safe. 
when you go to the tourist spots and when we travel all around and checkpoints, these are the guys who are giving you good experience here in Israel. These are the guys that makes you safe. So now this is an excellent, excellent chance for you to say, you know what? I want to give back because God says, I will bless those that bless Israel. So $70 for one family. And when you go and, and you go on this page, like I said, there is a place where you can write a personal greeting to that one, two, three, five, how many families you decide to donate to, and they will get your personal greeting where you can sit in Denmark or Australia or Thailand or Austria, wherever you are in the world. Wherever you are in the And just say, you know what, IDF, we love you, we bless you, we stand with you, and I want to bless you and your family. So this, I, I just, I'm really speaking from the bottom of my heart because I know there are many needs. There are many people who are fundraising. There are many needs, and, and one person can't do all. I get that, you know, I get that. But this is, honestly, this is one of those things where I'm saying, please don't just watch this video. The video ends and that was it. Right. This so, is one of these times, you know, just please do something. Right. So again, the, the request is very simple. The link is above, hit the link and donate whatever you can. And again, if everybody watches this, I mean, we have thousands of views, we have three, two, sometimes three, 5,000 views on these videos together. Yeah. Everyone donates to one package. We can take care of that many amount of soldiers. Um, and of course, definitely share the video on the link above, which we'll put the link in, uh, in Jane's uh, yeah. in Jane in one second. I see that people are donating on, on PayPal right now. I can't see the amount right here, but thank you so much for those who donated. And you will get the link here and on the, the link issue here. Literally issue. In, in another second or two, we'll put it up on the, uh, on the I just wanna uh, let everyone know that in November, I'm planning a trip to North America, uh, for now, probably on the West Coast, uh, on a speaking and a fundraising tour for all our campaigns. So if you're living in that area or anywhere in, the, anywhere in North America or anywhere else around the world, if you yeah. want to organize something in Europe, whatever it is, let me know. Um, so if you are around this area and you want to help set something up, you have connections you want to you know, give me and we'll talk, please uh, send me a, a private message and we'll get that done as soon as we can. What you also do more for the soldiers, right? Well, because the soldiers, well, we're, we're, the so soldiers I'll, just, I'll throw out some of the yeah, uh, Because people need to know. We're flying, we're flying lone soldier parents. In other words, soldiers who are so, yeah. serving in the IDF and their families are overseas. You know, when, when you graduate from different stages of the IDF, the families are partying with their kids and the lone soldiers are sitting there alone. Yeah. So we want to make sure the lone soldiers are never alone. So what we do is we, we fly their parents in for the graduation. We're not talking all parents. Parents can't afford it. Um, I mean, we really have brought parents in who really are in dire straits, and we, we, we brought them in, surprised their kids. We are buying a brand new food truck that's going to travel around the country um, to bases and whatnot with a built-in oven, built-in stove, built-in grill, built-in built -in coffee, espresso machine. We're going out to the bush where the soldiers are literally out for two weeks. We're serving them coffee, fresh coffee and cakes and whatnot. Yeah. Um, a lot of that stuff is going on. We have daily operations where we go out to the bases every single day. Uh, we get to run between 100 to a thousand soldiers a day. Uh, and again, to get to 100 soldiers, we keep it to $10 a soldier with, with the food and snacks. Yeah. So if you want to sponsor, of course, an outing for, for 100 soldiers, it's, it's $1,000. And the more soldiers we get, you know, the, the stores that we buy for give us a bigger discount. So we get to 1,000 soldiers, it costs around $4,000, not 10. Um, so if you want to donate to that, just let me know as well. But in any case, right now, I don't even want to talk about those because really the Russia China campaign yeah, is, is really is priority right now. And, and I, and I I will not sleep and I cannot sleep knowing that there are soldiers out there who won't be able to go, or choosing not to go with their, for their families because they don't want to be a financial burden. I can't let that happen. I'm hoping everybody out there can't let that happen. So please hit the link and uh, share it out there with friends and family so we can, um, we can send these soldiers home and let them enjoy the holiday like everyone else does. Yes. Can I just say I know this guy pretty well now. I know how hard he works. I know how much he is doing for the soldiers here in Israel, and he needs sleep. <laughs> he I will not sleep, sleep until I know I get these stuff. So we cannot coming. have him not sleeping. So we <laughs> really need you guys. We really, this is not one of those things, you know, where we really need you to step up. Someone is asking, where are you going on the West Coast of America? So I'm probably going to go to the area of California, but again, I will go wherever people invite me. In other words, I'm going to California, I'll be in LA, I'll be in San Francisco, I'll be in those areas. Um, but I will go anywhere in the world where people invite me will be effective to help me um, show support and love and appreciation to the soldiers in the IDF, anywhere. And, and again, I speak around the world about Israel as well, politics, I fight BDS around the world. Uh, so I will go anywhere that I can be effective, uh, anywhere in the world. My, my first priority is soldiers, Israel, that's my priority, truth. And so if you have uh, people out there who want to get involved, just shoot me a line, we'll get it set up. And this guy has some very deep personal stories also from the army. You know, one of these things that from when he speaks, it goes straight to your heart. And these are the things that touches you. So I would encourage you, if you're living in America, you know, go to your synagogue, go to your church, go to whatever, 
and say, you know, there's this guy who is planning a speaking tour in America and we need to invite him. He will bring the blessing out of Zion to your home, to your church, to whatever. Seriously. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate that, it. That's what he will be doing. But again, I'm, I'm just a delivery guy. Really. Yeah, yeah. The soldiers are the guys who, the men and women who. who but you are the one bringing that uh, message. All right, I'm the delivery guy. I'll, I'll keep the delivery guy. All right. I think so, we, I'm actually going to a political thing today, yes. so we got to run. Um, I, I will. Uh, la we will share the link here. Go on the link. Donate whatever you can. One packet, seventy dollars. One, two, three, whatever, how much you can. Share this video to your friends, your church, your family, and say this is now where we really need to... Synagogue, your community, <laughs> whoever you are. Let's this get... is now when you need to bless Israel. Right. Let's get these soldiers home for the holidays and yes. have a celebrate. Yes. All right? I want to thank everyone for watching. Share it thank out there you. and hit that link. Uh, God bless from the beautiful city. Of Jerusalem. Have an awesome day, everyone. Thank Take you care. for watching and sharing. Bye.